Have you been in a fight and you go into your bag to heal and you have all these medical items but have no idea what they do? Well today I'm going to be explaining what all of the medical items do, where you can and should use them, and what I carry. Let's get into this. Starting off simple, if you somehow don't know, you have a health tab that shows where the damage has been taken. You also have four bars that are your blood, intoxication, radiation, and both nourishment bars. Your intoxication and radiation start at zero, and your food and water both start at 100. But they will go down rather quick, so be sure to grab drinks and food off of dead AI ever so often. Mind you, if those do go down too much, you will get dizzy and all of these simple yet irritating disadvantages, so make sure to keep on a full stomach. For your blood levels, it starts at 5,000 milliliters and goes down relative to whatever injuries you have. The lowest I've ever gotten before a coma is 2.4 milliliters of blood, but blood does casually regenerate. You just need to stop all bleeding first. I wouldn't recommend ever letting your PMC get that low because it is extremely disorientating and unplayable on purpose, so be sure to carry all of the heals you require. Speaking of the heals, let's break down all of the medical items and all of their uses before getting into the injuries. The first few we're going to fire off because they're simple and not really worth talking about in depth. Starting off with the small and large blood bags, both carry 500 milliliters of blood, but the small bag has one use and the big bag has two uses. The small bag only takes one slot, the big bag takes two slots. For surgery, you have the suture kit, which has three uses and takes two slots, followed by the surgical and suture kit that has six uses and only also takes two slots. So if you are able to take a surgical and suture kit, be sure to take that, but they are kind of rare, so be sure to put it in your safe box if you are going to be using it and just take it out when you need it. Moving into splints, we have the flexible splint and the civilian flexible splint. They both do the same thing, the only difference is that the civ one has three uses and the flexible splint has five. Before we get into drugs, let's talk about tourniquets. There's the MFAT, the retractable, and the combat tourniquet. The only difference between these items is their amount, retractable has one use, MFAT has three uses, and the combat tourniquet has five uses. These are big must items because stopping bleeding instantly, regardless of your bleeding amount, is amazing. Yeah, Hopping into the drugs, for painkillers, we have Iblin, Meloexicam, and Paracetamol. Both Iblin and Meloexicam are only 33% efficient, with Iblin's effectiveness time only being 300 seconds. But Meloexicam being 600, just like Paracetamol, the nice thing about Paracetamol is that it is 66% efficient, and all three of these painkillers have four uses. Carrying on into the medication involving intoxication and radiation, we have Moxiflocin, Potassium Iodide, and Charcoal. Moxiflocin has minus 25 intoxication with four uses, as Charcoal only has minus 10 intoxication, but with five uses. And Potassium Iodide having minus four radiation per charge and only three uses. Next, let's walk into the stimulants, which are big play items and give major consequences. STRT blocks all stamina drain, so basically your running stamina doesn't dissipate, but at the cost of having zero arm stamina, increasing your intoxication, pain, and having your energy progressively drain for 60 seconds. The only other stimulant I have is ORI-12, which regenerates up to 50% of all bones at the cost of increasing your intoxication and having pain lasting for 60 seconds. I also recently just killed someone and found phentheline, which increases stamina regeneration at the cost of intoxication and hydration drain, and it lasts three fucking minutes. Last but not least, we have bandages. One is the civilian gauze, and the other is the ARF trauma bandage. The civilian gauze heals two wounds per charge and has a total of three uses, and the ARF trauma bandage heals three wounds per charge and has four uses. Finally, before heading out, there's three possible way of using heals. You can go into your inventory, right click the heal item, and use it. You can go into the health tab, drag the required heal to the specific spot, or you're able to use the hotkeys. To use the hotkeys for healables, hold H and scroll to the required healing item and press H again. G and P are also hotkeys for grenades and provisions. 
Now that we know what all the medical items do, let's get into the possible damages and how to remedy them. Starting off with the most simple and getting progressively more complicated, we have light bleeds and heavy bleeds. Light bleed is going to have one drop of blood and a heavy bleed is going to have two or more drops on one icon. Sometimes light bleeds will remedy themselves, but I'm not 100% sure that this happens every single time, so I wouldn't really count on it. Two or more drops on one icon will not resolve itself, and if you do nothing, you will eventually slip into a coma. But there are multiple ways to stop bleeding. You can use gauze or a bandage if it's a light bleed, and a tourniquet if it's a heavy bleed. You can also use bandages for heavy bleeds, but you're gonna have to go through two or more animations instead of just using one with a tourniquet, which can cost you the whole fight. Moving off of the bleeds, we have fractures. There are long-term based hindrances like limping, stamina drain, and the inability to hold your weapon straight. You are able to continue fighting with fractures where in reality, you can't actually die from this injury, but like I said prior, it will make the fight a lot harder. If you do need to buy yourself some time, pop a painkiller and it will remove the effects, but only for a temporary time and they will come back. Speaking of fractures, we got some gamer knees and can't really take a fall, so so watch out jumping off things or sliding off things for long distances like this. Oh, I'm gonna die. Next, we are going to be getting into the worst of the worst. We have Oregon damage. The side effects from Oregon damage can range from seeing triple, unable to gain stamina, and much more terrible effects. These icons also may be lighter or darker depending on the severity of the damage, but with both surgery kits, you are able to pull bullets out of your lungs, heart, and even your brain but the animation takes a long time, so be sure to find a secure location before attempting to pull a foreign object out of a vital Oregon. Mind you, these are not something you wanna play around with, but if it is required, pop a painkiller, buy yourself a little bit of time, just be sure to stop all of the bleeding first. One thing I've definitely noticed going around and watching some healing guides is people love to mention that heals aren't expensive. And you know, don't get me wrong, I understand that heals aren't crazy expensive because technically it's like $20 here, $10 here. But after you do that 10 times or 100 times, so in my mind, I like to use my safe box as a medical box and have bandages and painkillers in my pockets. If you only have four slots, I recommend taking three or four MFAGs and a tourniquet, blood, surgery kit, and a splint. If you have the QR kits, take some spare painkillers or bandages, or if you got some funky stuff like a stim. Obviously, if you have more than four slots, bring more if you please, but these are the bare necessities for keeping you and your squad alive. Also, don't fret to take an MFAC out or a few of them for loot if you want to keep them because the MFACs are super cheap to replace ever so often, just not every single time you die. The healing system in this game is really aggressive, especially for a solo because of comas. Honestly, if you are a solo and you end up getting dropped into a coma, you're screwed. So here's an in-depth guide on how I play and survive solo. As I say it. Help me! Help! 